Hello, this is Larry Cork. I'm with the ARP Zero office in Kansas City. I'd like to uh, talk to you today about how to handle cold calls. Cold calls are when you receive a call that you didn't expect and it identifies itself as something that, that uh, will eventually ask for information from you. Two reasons that you might get these calls. One of them is legitimate businesses which are trying to uh, provide a service to you. And the other is fraudulent uh, people who are trying to gather information from you or gain access to your computer so that they can do bad things to you. The first thing you want to do is remember that uh, if the people that call you identify themselves as a government agency such as the IRS or the Social Security Office, don't believe them. The IRS, Social Security, other government offices do not make calls to gather information from you about Social Security or about their, your tax forms. It is a fraud. Therefore, disconnect and uh, call in a report about the uh, call in to the fraud watch. Now, if it's not, if it identifies itself as something that you might be interested in, for instance, a call for a call about refinancing your home or a call about, um, about from one of your uh, granddaughters calling to uh, say that they have a problem, it may or may not be a legitimate call. You can't tell because the uh, caller ID on your telephone can be scammed. And so it can look as though it's coming from a legitimate source. In the grandpa sc uh, scam, my daughter, my, uh, my granddaughter called me and said, Grandpa, I've got a problem. She explained what the problem was. And I said, well, which of my, daughter, which of my granddaughters is this? And she said, oh, Grandpa, you know me. We don't need to go into that. I just need some help on this. Um, eventually, I shared with her the information that I don't have any granddaughters, at which point she hung up on me. I was uh, relatively certain that this was a scam call. If I had not been, if I had had granddaughters and wanted to verify it, I could ask for some information from her Tell her that I have to verify who it is since I'm uh, since I don't trust the uh, caller ID, and tell her that um, she was to give me some information that only she would know. Now, same thing with um, if you get a call from a uh, organization that wants to talk to you about a job or about some healthcare uh, products that they're uh, pushing. First of all, you want to uh, ask questions to uh, find out whether you really trust them, but don't trust them completely. It, uh, even in the best of worlds, the uh, scam line, uh, the, scam, the phone, scam, phone can be scammed, so you, don't, you can't trust uh, what the uh, caller ID says. But if you're convinced that uh, it's probably a legitimate call, Talk to them, but don't give any sensitive information. By sensitive information, I mean information that could be used to gain access to your computer or to gain uh, access to your financial and, and uh, Medicare records, such as your Social Security number. In these cases, if, you're, uh, if, if the conversation, you still not, uh, not certain that it, uh, it's a scam, so you haven't terminated, but they ask for sensitive information, social security number, or uh, ask to have access to your computer by signing in to, uh, by you giving them access to it, or by you typing in a uh, URL that they give you. Don't do it, instead tell them I received this call, caller ID said it was you, but I can't trust it because caller ID can be scammed. If you want the information, you'll have to 
send me a letter and ask for the information that way. That's a safe way. It can, you can then terminate the uh, conversation and no harm is done, even if it is a legitimate call. Because you are being safe and everyone should be safe, safe especially in the financial dis, uh, difficulties that uh, the nation is having today. Uh, with that warning, use the, um, use the, call, use the fraud watch uh, number that uh, is on your screen if you uh, want to re report a fraud. If you suspect that there is one, give a call. They're very friendly. They will identify whether it uh, is a likely fraud or whether it uh, could be a non-fraud and no harm is done. That's all I have for today. I hope this uh, tip is handy for you. Enjoy your day and stay safe.